We found the elusive Numar Super C that everybody's been asking about. And today we're taking you on a tour. Before we get started, we want to give a special shout out to our host. They kindly let us have access to their rigs and let us just go at it and take a tour of whatever we wanted and record for you guys. And that's what we're going to do for you. We'll start on the driver's side. The first thing that stands out is on the driver's side, it has a full length one slide on this side. There's three total. So the first compartment on the driver's side, this is your fuel tank and your chassis battery compartment. Here we have the Cummins Onan QD. 12,500, which is a really big generator for this size rig. And the QD is quiet diesel, and they truly are pretty quiet. This bay here has your electric cord reel and your 3,000 watt pure sign inverter. This is a pretty nice wet bay. It actually has a monitor outside that shows you what you have in your fresh gray and your black. It's got easy to use valves for your hot cold and your tank rinses, your fresh water, your city water, all of that. This is really nice wet bay. We're at the back of the RV where there's a little bit of storage on this side. You can put things over the top of the chassis rail, but you can't go underneath as there's a drawer, a pullout drawer on that side. Now this storage compartment, you can put items completely through to the other side under and over the chassis rail. As you can see here, it's, it's got 505 horsepower and it is powered by a Detroit diesel 13 engine. It's got a really beefy hitch to tow and it has a 30,000 pound weight capacity for towing. We found this really unique storage area where, where most of your flat items are gonna go. We, we didn't think it had a lot of storage down below. Then we got to looking and we found a neat little device that opens this, let me show you. That was pretty cool. And it's got these nice shelves on the back side for additional storage. They thought of everything. But when you look down here, you'd see that you could put your paddle boards or just longer items right here in this. Very nice added storage. This storage compartment has the slide out tray, which goes about halfway to the other side of the uh, storage compartment and there is also that pass-through that we talked about earlier and in the same bay you have your intervac onboard vacuum system pretty nice now this is awesome this comes standard on this model stacy had to make ours and put it on but i think they stole the idea from her Outdoor entertainment system comes with a Bose surround sound speaker attached. Very nice feature. Here we have your Oasis hot water heater and all of your uh, hydraulics for your slides and your jacks in this compartment here. We're almost to the front passenger side. This here is your battery compartment. There's eight onboard house batteries. Looks like there's room for more storage, but I wouldn't put anything else in here. Fear of it hitting the batteries or, I mean, there's a ton of cables in here. Sometimes it's hard to tell how big these bays are when you're watching the videos. So this is one of their smallest bays. And as you can see, I can still fit in and there's a little bit of headroom. Now I'm only five foot tall. So, you know, let that be your comparison, but this is still a really nice size bay. Another cool feature on the Supreme Air is the telescopic stairs. They just come out pretty neat, very smooth. And they have LED lights on the end. So at night you can see your first step. From the outside, both of these Supreme Airs are very nice looking. They have really nice paint schemes on both of them. These are two different color options. They're both the same interior floor plan. But what's really nice about the Super C's is the engine is up front. So you have this huge crumple zone if you're ever in the front or a head-on um, accident.
Let's start the tour where I would be if we had this rig, right here in the passenger seat. And I gotta tell you, I'm a little surprised it's not more comfortable. This rig is plush. This chair is not so plush. The chair we have in our Tiffin is way more comfortable from than this one. But I gotta tell you, there's plenty of space up here. I don't feel claustrophobic at all. I could actually do this. This feels like it's not a massive rig, even though it really is. I think I could actually drive this and not be so nervous. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> now, the seat is one of the comfort ride seats where when you sit in it, it kind of sinks down with you. Um, there's not a lot of cushion in the seat, though. So, again, our Tiffin seats are much more comfortable. The dash itself appears to be very user-friendly. Everything is really close to the steering wheel. So, you're not really having to move that far to make whatever adjustments you need to make. Above the cab, they have really maximized storage. So this middle cabinet is actually your control panel, but all the other cabinets are all storage. And it's very cool. They've really used every inch they can. And above the cabinets is your shade that will come down with the push of a button. The cabinet above the door houses more of your components, your HWH leveling system, your WineGuard Traveler satellite system. It actually has a Wi-Fi Ranger. And then you have your slide outs, your controls for light sh or window shades, lights, things like that. So this is very well organized. Now this layout comes with two recliners instead of two couches. And you can see not only do they rec recline, but they also swivel. Now one of the things I really like about this rig is the fact that their control panels are in locations that are very convenient. There's one beside each of the recliners as well as over by the couch. You can also find conveniently placed outlets. So Right behind this chair is not only an outlet, but USB ports, and the same behind the other recliner. And just for fun, check this out. Not only do you have cup holders here, but they are well lit. So if it's pitch black in here, you're not gonna lose your drink. There are plenty of storage above the recliners, and it actually goes all the way down to the fridge. Now, they are not very tall, but they are pretty deep. So you'll be able to store some things in there if you figure out how to organize it correctly. Tetris might be involved. Here's the other control panel I was telling you about. It's beside the second recliner. This control panel controls more than just the lights. You can also turn on the fans, lower all the shades, and work some other systems here right at the touch of a button without ever getting up from your chair. This rig has chosen the credenza for their option for their dining. So let's check it out. As you can see, this will slide out. So if you wanted to squeeze for four adults in here, you could, but it would be tight for dinner. Now this does have a, an outlet right back here with two USBs, but unfortunately there is not a USB outlet for the other chair. There is a regular outlet, which will fall right through the little, right through the little cord hole here. So you can plug something in like your computer if you need to charge it. Now for me, I would feel pretty claustrophobic sitting here. Let me see. If I was sitting here to work, it is, it's pretty weird. Your, your keyboard tray is right here, so I wouldn't like this at all. This side would be much more comfortable, I think. You wouldn't feel like you were all squished in. But this is an option for a computer. Now there is plenty of storage down below. It also comes with a a printer tray so you can put your printer on and plug your tr pl printer in. All right, my one big complaint about this rig is this crazy rail. It does not fit at all. It looks very cheap and very generic. I'm sure they had to place it here for safety because the stairs are right below, but I think they could have done something a little fancier and I don't know. It, it just doesn't fit the rest of the rig. This side of the rig brings you the sleeper, which is actually um, love seat size. So it's probably a full size sleeper. And your TV, which will disappear with the touch of the button and show you the big picture window on the other side. Now there's also another control panel, as you can see here. So if you are on the love seat, you can adjust lights and the fan and such. And USB and regular outlet right here if you need it. Now let's head to the kitchen. I forgot to mention the cabinets above the sofa. These are the cabinets for your audio equipment here. And of course your sound bar is above. They also provided two small storage cabinets on either side. All right, now let's hit the kitchen. All right, let's talk about the kitchen. There are a lot of things in this kitchen that I really, really like. Now, starting with this huge convection oven. So it does not come with a regular house oven, but there's a huge convection microwave here. 
Also, it has an induction cooktop. Coming on down is something I love, love. This huge drawer, it already has a layout for your silverware. So there's divided dividers already placed here. So you won't have to go through and place them in your drawers like I did in mine. And of course, down below is a built-in dishwasher. Now, if you boondock like we do, it might also be your, um, your drying rack. So when you can't use it. Or extra pot storage. Yeah, true that. All right, some of the things I really like about this are the soft close drawers. They're all really soft close, and they've used every ounce of space possible. So even over here, there are components on the bottom, but there's a little space, and you have pull-out cubbies, deep cubbies, and this is really cool, your pull-out trash can, and a pull-out drawer on the bottom of the kitchen sink. Now, if you're short like me, reaching everything in the upper cabinets of RV is a huge problem. But for this cabinet, they've helped me out a little bit. So, it does have a pull-out drawer that I can almost reach the back of. Of course, the top, I'd be calling Phil for everything, but it does give ample storage. Hey, hey, open up that cabinet underneath the sink again. There's a neat feature in there that we missed. What? Lights. There's oh, yeah. Lights come on automatically. Yeah, that is cool. You can see all the way to the back of the cabinet to find out if your sponge or something missed the trash can. So that does make it really convenient. I really do like that. Plenty of storage. All right, I got to tell you one of the features that I love, 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 and I wish I had in my rig is this huge window behind the kitchen sink. My kitchen is so dark, it's like a cave, and this really makes it lighter and brighter in here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where are the outlets in this kitchen? You actually get two. There is one here, and your second one is right here. So you have you can plug in your Instant Pot and your coffee maker at the same time. And as a matter of fact, back here is more than enough room for your coffee maker to sit on the counter or even here on the side. One more thing I wanted to show you. Again, another control panel. So if you're in here cooking, you need to lower your shades or turn on a fan. It's right here. Very convenient. This model Numar also comes with a residential refrigerator and bonus, you have ice and water in the door. I really love that. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Where is my pantry? Here you go. Right here is the pantry. So there is one negative to this pantry and that is the depth of storage that you have. This is your only real storage for cereal boxes. So don't be buying out the cereal aisle. They're not all gonna fit in here. But I do love that they are all pull-out shelves. And again, look at the light in there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the back of the cabinet. It is really amazing. All right, welcome to the half bath. This is convenient to have in the rig. And it's actually pretty comfortable in here for me. But they packed a lot of punch in this small bathroom. There is storage in every little space possible. They also have a ton of lighting in here. So if this ends up being the makeup bathroom, you'll be covered. Now, they do also have what looks like storage above the toilet, actually your breaker panel and a couple other control panels, but they really did a great job with this. You have drop down outlets underneath the medicine cabinet. You have another outlet inside the cabinet itself and of course a control panel right here so you can manage your lights or whatever you need in this bathroom. And one thing I forgot to mention, this toilet is a macerator toilet. So you either love them or hate them, but either way, that's what you'll get with this rig. Welcome to the bedroom. Anytime we tour an RV, there are several things we look for that we think are really important to have. And so far, this rig has them all. First of all, they have the control panel for the lights here. So once you get into bed, you can turn on or off lights as you need to. They also have up here in your cabinets, they have an outlet here. And on each side of the bed, whoops, on each side of the bed here is a cord drop. So if you have a CPAP, your mask tube can actually drop through here and you can actually keep your machine up here and there's a spot for, for two in case both of you need it. So that's really important. Now also on either side of the bed, let me climb down. 
on either side of the bed is a, an outlet as well as USB. So you know how important those are for us these days with our phones. Also, there's a little bit of storage beside the bed. And then of course, there's under the bed storage with really cool lighting feature. So if you want accent lighting to be on at night, you can do that. That way nobody falls or trips in the middle of the night when they get up to go to the bathroom. We've closed the door to the bedroom. As you can see, it is a sliding door and it's a two piece door. So that gives you your privacy in case you have company staying with you in the front room. Also back here, you can see before you even go to the front of the rig, what your tank situation is. So you have another complete panel here in the bedroom, as well as your light fan panel and your slide out button is right here to open up your slides. Your storage as far as your clothing is huge. There is plenty of storage in here and this one actually has an outlet for those of you who still iron your clothes while you're RVing. We got rid of our iron quite a while ago. One of the things Phil didn't mention when he was outside is that all the windows have their own awning. So if you want to open an awning, all you have to do is hit a button inside and that window's awning will open. And while you're up here, if you need another outlet, they provided one here under the TV as well. All right, this is where we start getting fancy and I start getting a little bit jealous. So back here in the master bath, you have a full size egress door in case of emergency right behind the toilet. I really like that feature for safety. Also on the other side is your full size stackable washer and dryer. They're the same brand that we have, which is the Splendid. We really like them. So if you don't have a washer and dryer in your rig, I recommend them highly. Now the part of this bathroom I like the most is right over here. So you've got to check out the shower. It is plush. All right, to start with, we have two shower heads. We have the handheld as well as the overhead. So if you're tall, you are definitely going to fit under this shower head. Also, they've already provided you holders for your shampoo, conditioner, and soap right here. And of course, for those of you who need a little help shaving your legs in the shower or if you need to sit, they provided that for you as well. There is more than enough room in here. As a matter of fact, Phil, come on, let's see if we fit both in here together. Bring it in. There you go. We could, now I'm jealous. <laughs> we could never do this in our shower. Not that we could actually both shower in here together, but this is how big it is we both fit. Oh, I wanna see your head, take your hat off and let's see your head underneath the shower. Oh yeah. Perfect. He definitely won't, wouldn't have to hunch down with this shower. No, and it moves. Very I like cool. it. Phil approved. All right, of course, I'm always looking for outlets to make sure there's plenty in here, and this bathroom does not disappoint. We have an outlet here as well as an outlet in the medicine cabinet, and this medicine cabinet is a great size. The only thing I recommend is tension rods here because there is no lip here, so when you're moving down the road, you're going to open these cabinets, things will go flying. So the lip here is mm, very tiny. Also, you have another control panel here for lights and fans for the bathroom and more of the soft closed cabinets and nice ca cabinet space. The lighting in here is amazing. There's lighting everywhere, accent lighting, comfort lighting, just, I love all the lighting. Oh, I've left out one more storage item here. You can see it does come with a safe and then some more pull out drawers for you for towels or whatever you need. So plenty of storage in here. Now we're going to show you a few really cool features that we discovered throughout the tour. First of all, over here, the covers for your induction top, stove top. Let me show you when they pop out actually have cutting boards on the other side. So that is a really cool feature that they've added in that they definitely did not have to do. Next up is the sweeper assist with the vacuum. Man, this would be really convenient if we had one of those. Of course, you can see the lighting. The lighting touches throughout this rig are amazing. They are everywhere and some are soft and subtle and others are bright exactly where you need them. Best of all, no carpet anywhere in the rig, not even in the slides. And as you can see, all the slides are flush. So you're not going to trip over the slide and you don't have to worry about cleaning the carpet or the carpet being crappy in a year or two. All right, I know what you're thinking. What about numbers? Give me numbers. Well, we have a laundry list of numbers to give you. So we may even be referring to our notes. All right, so you want to start with the tanks? Yeah, so this has a 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. It has a 150 gallon freshwater tank, a 60 gallon gray water tank, and a 40 gallon black tank. It also can boast 
three air conditioners and they are all 15,000 BTUs. Yep, and this rig, this particular model, the 4573 Supreme Air, is 44 feet 11 inches or 45 if you round up. So the weights for this particular model, um, it is 58,000 pounds gross weight. Your cargo carrying capacity is 15,100 pounds for a combined gross weight total of 72,000 pounds. That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff moving down the interstate as well. That is very true. All right, let's talk bottom line. What's the price of this bad boy? <laughs> you don't look. This is, the, <laughs> this is the number everybody wants to know, really. All right, so drum roll, please. Are you on me? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 589978 dollars. Yeah. So I mean if this Check beauty is if this beauty is what you're looking for, start crushing cans now. <laughs> I hope this answers your questions about the new Mark Supreme Air. Yeah, this this was like a ghost. I mean, we really have been looking to to find this model so that we could bring it to you. And I am so fortunate that we found two of them sitting in this lot. You're fortunate. They're fortunate. Uh, true. We're all fortunate. Yeah. Now, I have to tell you, there was only one complaint I had about this rig, and that is that rail, um, that like little half wall at the stairs. They even make sure, made sure to make sure, they didn't make sure to make sure. Did they make sure? They made sure. Are you sure? Maybe. I'm okay. partly sure. But this rig feels very light. It's very bright. The lighting is wonderful. The light countertops are great. I never once felt like, even with all the lights off, that I was in a cave. No, this is a great layout. This is, I could see us living in this, but we're sticking with Ruby. We're not buying a new rig anytime soon. Well, so. we sure didn't hit the lotto, so yeah, not only no. would it not happen, it couldn't happen. No, but this is a really, really well put together rig. So let us know your thoughts on this RV. What did you see that you really liked? What did you see that you would never possibly imagine having in your rig? You thought it was either over, over the top or unnecessary. I didn't see anything really over the top or unnecessary. I pretty much liked it all. So let us know your thoughts and let us know what RV you're currently in. Would you go bigger to something like this? Would you go smaller? Maybe you're already in something bigger than this. Let yeah. us know. We want to know what you're driving. And we, we previewed the Renegade Super Seas mm -hmm. um, at the Tampa RV Show. So Stacy will link that down below. But I think when you look at both of those, I think the Supreme Air wins, wins me over. There's a ton more um, storage outside compared to the Renegades. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out and you'll see what I'm talking about. I do like them both, but I think you're right. It has a ton more storage underneath. Yeah. All right, that's it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we want to thank TransWest Truck Trailer RV once again for yes. allowing us to come in and spend some time in the screen Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And remember, you can find us on social media. Make sure and look for us on Facebook, Instagram, and if you're on our village or you want to know more about our village, I will link that below. It is a great RV community. Whether you have your RV yet or not, come on over and join our community within our village. We would love to have you there. Good stuff. All right. Thanks again for watching, and one day we'll see you on, on the, the road. road.